Did you hear that? No, no, seriously, stop. Listen. Life is so deafening and noisy at times that we don't quite hear, do we? We don't hear God speaking to us because sometimes he's that soft, gentle voice. Do we listen? Do we hear? Do we recognize? Are we able to discern God's voice from all the noise and the clutter of voices that come around us, that come to us? We need to stop and listen. Listen to that voice of God. We need to, to listen and hear our family, our grandparents. When last we spent time listening to them? When was the last time that we listened to our parents, our brothers and sisters? I know sibling, sibling quarrels can indeed be problematic, primarily because we're not listening to each other. We have to listen. We have to listen to our family, not just hear them, but listen to them. We need to listen to the world of people that are around us. Yes. Listen. Do you hear it? A mother in pain over her child that has been killed in crime. Did you hear that cry? Did we hear her? Or a drug addict that is trying to find help but does, does not know how to, to ask or go about it. Do, do we hear that cry for help? Victims of violence and rape and and child abuse. Oh, do we hear that cry? Or do we just push it off? Not my child, so hey, doesn't bother me. No, we can't be like that. We cannot be a society that do not take these cries and, and, and allow them to indeed experience relief, help. Do we hear the cry that occurs in domestic abuse or even human trafficking? Oftentimes we don't think these things are here. We turn a deaf ear at times. We don't wish to be bothered. Do we hear the cry of a child who has been bullied and that is need of help. Whether it's being bullied at school, on the playground, or in the home community. Or being bullied in social media. Yeah, that's a new thing now. Do we hear their cry for help? They may not want to say anything, but their actions speaks volumes. Listen. Listen. Listen to those who are suicidal, who are on the verge of taking their life, on the verge of taking those pills or on the verge of killing themselves. It is truly a sad thing when no one hears their cry for help. There are so many people in need of help 
and and this COVID has has escalated it and brought it to a front. And we need to hear the cry of people. We need to listen to them. We can't just keep on going as if it doesn't bother us because it should bother us. The cry of hungry people, the cry of the poor, the sick and the dying, oftentimes they die alone. Listen, listen carefully. Do you hear it? Do you hear that scream? Do you hear that scream? Yes, a scream. A scream of an unborn child that is being murdered. Do you hear that scream? We oftentimes think, well, it's my own body. I can do what I want and whatever. But unfortunately, it is a human being that we are killing. You know, we, we grumble, we complain, we fuss, we fret, we throw our hands in the air. When some crazy person a young teenager buys a gun and, and shoots up shoots up the school. We are outraged. We are outraged. When an aborted child, we don't say anything. We don't say anything. And that child dies with no one speaking for that child. We are not listening. We are not listening. There are many voices in this world. There are many things that are calling for our attention. Are we listening? We can lose family, friends, ourselves, and God in this noisy world that we live in. This is why we need to stop. Stop. Stop and listen. And in so doing, God will direct us as we listen to his voice. He will bring us to help those that are in need. Yes, are we truly listening? I encourage you to take time out every day and throughout the day. Take five minutes, morning and mid-morning, in the afternoon, lunchtime. Take time out. Take five minutes out every time, I mean, throughout the day, and stop and listen. Listen to God's voice. What is God calling you to do? Listen to God's voice. Hear Him. And allow Him to transform your life. My life. The life of the individuals in Barbados and throughout the world. If we would just stop and listen to Him. God is calling us to reach out and help those in need. God has no hands but your hands and my hands. God has no feet but your feet and my feet. God has no ears but your ears and my ears. 
God has no mouth but your mouth and my mouth. Yes, for us to speak out and let others know. Know of God's love. Know that God cares for them. To know that God continues to reach out to them through us. Stop. Listen. May God bless you.